What is up you guys, um, Unity Creed Gaming here bringing you a little tutorial on how to set up your own Arma 3 Sync Respiratory. So I'm sure there are um, many tutorials out there showing you how to connect to one, but today I'm actually going to be showing you how to set up your own so people can download your mods from your server. So right now I'm just going to show you here that I have my own working um, Arma 3 Respiratory here with my mods and everything. I uh, I run a Arma th or an Arma 3 Live community. See right here, if I connect to it, you can see. Just close this out. You can see you can check for the mods. Check for the add-ons. May take a couple seconds. taken longer than it should. Sorry. So usually it only does this on the first time you connect via the PC, but usually I'm hosting the mods on here, so on the other end it shouldn't take that long, because for me it's running off localhost. It may sound a little complicated at first, but it won't be complicated once we're done. Alright. So I'm just gonna connect to it from my computer, that should be a little easier. So I'll open up my Arma 3 sync. My desktop is a little cluttered. See if I connect here. Shouldn't take long. See? Got my mods. Can check out everything here. Can select them all. Can download everything. Have all that stuff. So basically, as you can see here, uh, where's my dedicated box right here? Oh, see? Um, what you can do, or it's hosted via XAMPP, right? And this all may look extremely complicated, but trust me, it's not complicated in any way, alright? So I'm just, I'm gonna, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna set one up on my computer. I'm not gonna use it or anything, but let's just do it, alright? So, first thing you're gonna download is something called XAMPP. I'll put a link in this, or in the description for that. Usually you'd uh, get the latest version, which is this one. Actually, no, I'm running a 64-bit version of Windows, so I'm going to be downloading that one. Actually, no, never mind. Um, yeah, no, it's only 32-bit. This is a fairly big download. Um, not too big, but while we're waiting for that, I'll just show you how this basically works. So what this is, is this is the XAMPP control panel. This is basically what it is, or what's hosting your thing. So this is, uh, mo most people know what FileZilla is. FileZilla, FileZilla is an FTP client. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, all right? It's basically transferring files from one computer to another. So if I go into here, jump into here, local disk, you'll see my I've created my Arma 3 sync uh, respiratory right here. So let's just start off with the basics. What you're usually going to do is you're going to hop into your, I'm, I usually separate it, so I just create it in here, and new folder. I usually just name it Arma Resync. Alright, so it's an, it's an empty directory, right? So usually you stick your mods in there. See, the XAMPP is done. Um, I'll just stick in one mod for the sake of time. Sorry. Let's just grab Task Force Radio mod. Let's grab, uh, grab it out of my Steam folder. So, yeah, let's just grab my Task Force Radio. Alright? Okay, that, that should work. So now we're going to install XAMPP. If you get that, don't worry about it. It's it's just user account control. It's not, a, it's not an issue. So 
because you wouldn't you really don't need any of these uh i'd usually just disc or deselect all of these it's basically for hosting a web or a mail server i don't like selecting any of these things usually so i just wouldn't I have an extremely cluttered computer, um, but it runs fairly fast. It's really, it's, it, it runs extremely fast, but... I'm sorry guys, I should, I'm probably going to cut through this, but if I'm too lazy to edit it, I'm just going to ask you to skip through it. It doesn't usually take very long, but um, I'm kind of lazy for editing. There we go. So usually you just hit start now. Wait for it to pop up. There we go. So, first thing you would do, you'd start it. So, you, if you get an error, and can't really help you with that, just post in the comments, I'd be usually be able to help you out. First thing you're going to do is you're going to hop into your admin. You're just going to hit OK there. Second thing, you click on this one. This is really important that you make sure you don't click on this one. This is the group. You always need to remember one man, all right? This is the users tab. So you create a new user. Call him a non man. So it needs to be like an anonymous account with like no password. And this is super important. You need to share the directory. It needs to be your ARMA3, that uh, directory we created in the C folder where we house our mods. We, I named it just ARMA3 sync. Where'd it go? There it is. Super important part. And usually I'd put it unmetered, but it depends on how much bandwidth you have uh, with your hosting. Um, yeah. I usually just make it unmetered uh, because it gets pretty, like, the more people that to start downloading, the longer it takes. Actually, no, I didn't need that. Did I? No. Did I? Let me check. No, I didn't need that. Yeah, you, you only need FileZilla. Um, so, yeah, uh, now that that's done, you should be able to... Okay. So, i got to figure this out. Need to figure out what my IP address is. Actually, no, that's a dumb idea. I won't be. I'll be a little lazy to blur that out. All right, that's my IP address. I'm gonna have to uh, probably blur that out. So I should be able to type this. That should work. If not, it's not too much of an issue. Just gotta check something. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Usually you'd have to go into your firewall and disable your Windows firewall. That's extremely important because it blocks ports.
Give me one moment, guys. Sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. Sorry. One second. Sorry, guys. So, as I was saying, uh, you need to make sure that your uh, firewall is disabled, and yeah, you should be good to go from that point. So, as you can see, my Felzilla um, server is running. So, what you need to do is you need to hop in on the sync and you need to set up the parameters, alright? So, you're going to leave this blank for now, alright? I uh, set the respiratory name. It's important that you set it correctly because this is what's going to show for everybody. So I'll just name it test repo. And if you're hosting, if you're connecting on the local machine, I just type localhost. But uh, anywhere else, it would just be your IP address. All right, and you need to make sure you set it to anonymous. And you just connect to it, and it's connected. See, and you'll get that error from there. So you need to click on this button right here. And you just select your respiratory's main folder, which is again that um, I'm a three sync folder that we've set. See? So we need to click on that and press open. And we need to build the respiratory. Alright, so as you can see here, um, it's been built. And we now have a new folder, or er, a new folder in the respiratory. It's called .a3s. Now it's cr crucial, every time you update the repo, you need to delete this file, like so, and then go into Arma 3 sync on your local machine, and press build. It's really important. See? And it would be, your auto config URL is going to be this, except the only thing changes, it's going to be your IP address right there. It's only saying localhost for the sake of uh, just being, uh, being different. So if you can see here, I just pre just remove that. If I stick this in here and press import, all this stuff is automatically important, right? imported. And if users connect to your respiratory, they can just check for add-ons, select all, and just download them like so. So yeah, that's the, um, the basics of setting up an ARMA3 uh, sync respiratory for your server. Um, if you enjoyed, or if you if this tutorial helped me, or helped you out, leave a like. Please leave a comment. Leave any feedback you've got. Um, if you, you're feeling and generous, uh, I'll, there will be a PayPal donate link in the description. Um, if you have Arma 3, check out uh, my A3L community. Uh, it's called Mercury Gaming. It's a great community. Uh, hop in on, or hop on in and check it out, guys. So this has been Unity Creed Gaming, bringing you a fantastic tutorial on how to set up an Arma 3 Sync uh, respiratory. And everybody have a great night.